5, Division of Segments and Angles. After studying this section, you'll be able to identify midpoints and bisectors of segments, identify trisection points and trisectors of segments, identify angle bisectors, and identify angle trisectors. Midpoints and bisectors of segments. We shall often work with segments that are divided in half. Definition. A point or segment ray or line that divides a segment into two congruent segments bisects the segment. The bisection point is called the midpoint of the segment. Now this is one of our first definitions. It will be extremely beneficial if you memorize the definitions that the book gives us. It will be also helpful for proofs if you create each definition into a conditional statement. Remember a conditional statement is an if-then statement. So for our definition of bisect, a conditional statement would be if a point divides a segment into two congruent segments, then it bisects the segment. Now a conditional statement for midpoint could be if a point is a midpoint, then it splits the segment into two congruent segments. Only segments have midpoints. It does not make sense to say that a ray or line has midpoint because rays and lines extend infinitely and we can't have a midpoint of infinity. Now in my figure below I have line segment PQ. How many midpoints does line segment PQ have? Well it would only have one midpoint because there's only one middle point of that line segment. However, it could have an infinite amount of bisectors that create that one midpoint. Looking at a few examples, we have if line segment XY bisects line segment AC at B, what conclusions can we draw? Well, if line segment XY is a bisector, then we could say that B is the midpoint of line segment AC, and line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC. Example two, if D is the midpoint of line segment FE, what conclusions can we draw? Again, midpoint definition would give us line segment FD is congruent to line segment DE, point D is a bisector of line segment FE, and line segment DG bisects line segment FE. My last example, if line segment OK is congruent to line segment KP, what conclusions can we draw? Well, if these two segments are congruent, then I know that the point in the middle would be the midpoint, so K is the midpoint of line segment OP, Line JM is a bisector of line OP, and point K bisects line segment OP. Now trisection points and trisecting a segment. A segment divided into three congruent parts is said to be trisected. So like bisection, we now have three congruent parts instead of two. So another definition, Two points, or segments, rays, or lines that divide a segment into three congruent segments trisect the segment. The two points at which the segment is divided are called the trisection points of the segment. Again, only segments have trisection points. Rays and lines do not have trisection points because they will extend infinitely. Looking at a few more examples, if line segment AR is congruent to line segment RS, which is congruent to line segment SC, what conclusions can we draw? Well, I could say that R and S are trisection points of line segment AC, and line segment AC is trisected by points R and S. Example 2, if E and F are trisection points of line segment DG, what conclusions can we draw? So if I have two trisection points, then I would know line segment DE is congruent to line segment EF, which is congruent to line segment FG. And I would also know that line segment HE and line segment HF are trisectors of line segment DG. Angle bisectors. So an angle like a segment can be bisected. So a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles would bisect the angle. The dividing ray is called the bisector of the angle. Now in my two figures below, my figure on my left, I have if angle ABD is congruent to angle DBC, then ray BD Again, it's ray BD because B is my endpoint, so it would not be ray DB, is the bisector of angle ABC. If angle NOP is congruent to angle POR and ray OQ bisects angle POR, then ray OP, not ray PO, is the bisector of angle NOR, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So again, only a ray can divide an angle into two congruent angles and bisect that angle. Angle trisectors, so two rays can divide an angle into three equal parts. Two rays that divide an angle into three congruent angles trisect the angle. 
the two dividing rays are called trisectors of the angle. So again, in my two figures below, my figure on the left, if angle ABC is congruent to angle CBD, which is congruent to angle DBE, then ray BC and ray BD trisect angle ABE. And if ray SV and ray SX are trisectors of angle TSY, then angle TSV is congruent to angle VSX, which is congruent to angle XSY. So again, summarizing all these definitions, we had segment bisector, midpoint, segment trisector, angle bisector, and angle trisector for section 1.5. Make sure you memorize these as well as create conditional statements for them as that will be extremely beneficial for you. In this lesson we learned, segment bisector is a line segment array that divides the segment into two congruent segments. A midpoint is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments, which is the point of bisection. Segment trisector are two points, or segments, rays, or lines, that divide a segment into three congruent segments, and an angle bisector is only a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. That's a wrap on this video. We'll see you in the next one.